All right, so we're getting ready to put the uh, front hubs back on the uh, forklift. So there's a few things to look at. You'll need uh, two seals for each, and then you'll probably need to make a, uh, a gasket here for where the uh, shafts go in. So this is the uh, inner seal. If you look into it carefully, you'll see that there's a, uh, a gap. I believe that the gap side goes in, and then the uh, regular kind of side would go out. I didn't make a note of that when taking it apart because the vehicle machine was so dirty I couldn't really tell. Then there's also a, uh, a seal that goes on the uh, inboard bearing. We'll take a look at it in a second. So right above the uh, bearing, there's actually a, a seal surface. So you'll need to clean that up with some 320 and 400 grit sandpaper, clean everything off with some brake clean and whatnot. And then for this uh, seal, it just presses onto the uh, bearing, it just fits on this outer surface here. And then there's a, a center spacer that goes on there as well. So I'll worry about that permanently getting installed as uh, I put on the machine. These bearings are not in very good shape. I probably should replace them, but with the amount of work this forklift is going to do, it's just not worth it as far as I can tell. So uh, I'm just going to give it a shot with uh, kind of worn out bearings. We'll put new seals on it and new grease. You'll need a, a tin of like red and tacky grease as well. So I guess we'll start putting it back on the machine. We've got the machine cleaned up. This is a good time to verify if your brake adjuster is still working. So just like a car, it's down at the bottom, there's a star wheel here and uh, a lever. You can take the adjuster out if you spread the pads at the bottom. So that's good. Then there's a sealing surface here. If it's not in good condition, you'll have to sand it off as well. And. Uh, you need to put a preload on these wheel bearings, which is kind of unusual. I had uh, instructions with the, on a piece of paper here somewhere. Yes, I found it. So basically, for the front axle, obviously you grease the thing, you put the nut to give it preload. You want a hub rolling torque of 20 foot-pounds. So basically, I think you just want it lightly snug. That's all I can say. And then the uh, dry shaft nuts are going to be 50 foot pounds. The uh, brake drum mounting nuts are 30 foot pounds. Be careful with this. They have some problems with their decimals and their numbers don't necessarily make sense all the time. I verify that the uh, wheel lugs are 282 to 325 foot-pounds in a different manual. So anyway, the idea here is that we're going to get these uh, the uh, wheel nuts set down to give a, a slight preload. So I'll start greasing the bearings. There's no special thing about that. There's lots of videos on how to do it. Then we'll start to put this on the machine. I right, got the uh, inner wheel bearings in now. Got the seals tapped in. Just use a two-pound plumber's hammer to gently tap them in without using any tools other than that. No uh, bearing presses or anything like that. Well you could, it might make it a bit easier, might make it harder. Just yeah, I use some of the red and tacky. You'll probably use one of those just for the uh, front axle and half of one of those for uh, the rear axle. So you probably need two of these if you're going to do uh, the bearing service. So at this point it's probably best just to toss the uh, brake drums and the hubs onto the vehicle, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just uh, get set up and get the camera on again. Okay, at this point you might want to measure your uh, brake drum and the uh, width of your uh, brake shoes, but uh, there is a little rubber plug, just like a car, that you can take out and adjust the star wheel with the wheels on, or at the very least, probably with the drum on is best. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do it that way rather than trying to fool around making this work. So I guess the most important thing here is you put a bit of grease 
on the bearing surface and you don't damage the seal when you put this on. So you can kind of look in, make sure you get things relatively well lined up. And I might have to adjust the brakes just to get this on. Maybe not. No, we're going to make it. So I'm relatively on. I'm not sure if I'm in all the way or not. Okay. Oh, it's pretty tight. It's going to be hard to do the uh, setting of the uh, bearing. So I'm probably going to pull this off and adjust the star wheel a little bit and slide it back on because that's uh, too much brake in my opinion. So anyway, you get the uh, idea. So I'm going to get that adjusted so it's a little more reasonable. And then put the uh, drum back on and then start setting the uh, preload on the wheel bearings. Alright, so it's time to set up the wheel bearings here. So it's uh, a bit funny feeling on this because this wheel bearing, the other wheel bearing has a seal on it basically. So as you're putting it in, you're building pressure and then it uh, pops out so it's kind of unusual. I did a video on spanner nuts and for whatever reason the uh, tool that I got from OEM tools even though it said it was 80 by 76 it definitely isn't. So what we're going to do is just put this uh, spanner nut in here and wind it in with a screwdriver. I did try to do this the right way getting the right tools and everything but it didn't work out so now we'll just do it the, the way everybody does it. You might want to do this with the wheels on. It could be a, a bit easier to feel your way through. Just making sure that everything is pushed in all the way. Let's see. It might be there. We're not going to leave this preload on the bearing like I'm doing right now. It's just a matter of trying to gauge where we are with the tools that we have. So I can't pull it in or out. You could set up a dial gauge here and see if you're moving or not. But I can feel that we're not moving, so that's good. So now I'm just going to figure out where we need to be to have a little bit of end play. It's fun to do this. I always pick the hottest day of the year when you're nice and sticky with the grease. It makes it more enjoyable. So you can hear that there's a bit of play now. I just kind of want to take that out. Because there's no way you can tell the spinning torque on this with a bit of brake drag and then the drag of the two sets of seals. I'd say it's good now. You always do that, especially on transport trucks. Because otherwise, what will happen is you can lose a wheel if it's not in all the way and you won't find out until they hit a big bump and everything kind of loosens up. So I just saw that nut spin a little bit with the, when I turned the hub. I'm happy with that. 
Now with this lock washer, you'll have one tab just folded over such that it's going to go into the keyway here. I didn't look at the keyway to see if it goes all the way through the bearing or not. Because if it did, you'd probably have to uh, seal it off. So put this on. Then we're going to look at the uh, nut and see if we can find a flag that fits over. And in. And I see one right here. This is a bit tricky. I guess I can just fold it over now. I know which one it is. Take the pliers and fold it over. Make sure you drive it in all the way home. done. Now we're going to just massacre this nut here because we don't have the right tool to tighten it down. It's unfortunate. Just going to get that one lined up. There, now we're all locked in. This still spins. Parking brake is good and adjusted. So I think I'm just going to cheat and put some uh, RTV sealant on here rather than making gaskets because I think I'll be in here in the future. So I guess that's where we're going to end the video, other than when you put the wheels on, you leave the wheels depressurized. You're going to torque them down to, uh, like I said, 280. You might need a 3 quarter inch torque wrench or a really heavy duty half inch torque wrench to do that. Once you get it all fully torqued down, that is when you bring the air pressure up in the tire. You bring it up to 100 PSI. So thank you for watching.